Uh, well, I've always been a big news junkie, to be honest. I grew up watching the news as a kid in Knoxville. I uh, woke up every morning and I was always fascinated by the weather, especially in this area. Uh, so it has, there's so many dynamics with our terrain and there's so much variation and I just enjoyed watching it. And so when I first started studying journalism, the weather part, the math and science that I always loved as a kid still drew my attention. So I decided to go back to school and got a second degree in meteorology. I think it's a challenge. Um, with any formula in math or science, there's usually one right answer. It doesn't really work that way in weather. So it is the challenge of what do I think is actually going to happen? What do I think is going to occur today, tomorrow, next week, in a couple of weeks? So I like that challenge. If it interests you, don't shy away from it. Um, I think a lot of times, especially, there's not as many females in the STEM industries. And I think it's because we're kind of put into a box and we're told this is how you're supposed to be, this is how you're supposed to think, you're supposed to love makeup and getting dressed up. Um, but this math and the science, if it draws your attention, embrace it, love it, enjoy it, because it, it really is a fun business to be in and don't be shy of being the 25% in the, in the industry.